I saw a guy had an ad for a 69 Riviera, and it looked like a pretty honest car. Black, red interior, bucket seats. It's pretty cool all the way around, so he said he had some other cars in the back and figured I'd just come out and take a look and see what he had. I mean, what the heck? Maybe I can find a couple more cars to bring to Barry Jacks. Oh, hey, sir. That looks like a, a vicious miniature horse. Can I come back? It. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Richard Rawlings, I talked to you on the phone? Yeah, Glenn Stevens. Glenn? Donna, Donna Stevens. Donna Stevens. Glenn Donna. I'm Glenn Stevens. This is my wife, Donna, and we live here in Justin, Texas. I kind of glanced at the review that we talked about, but you said you had a bunch more cars. I guess this is it? Yeah. Over the years, he, one car and truck after another came into the backyard, and I do want my backyard back. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got a little El Camino, huh? It's got just a small block Chevy, or? Yeah, it's 305. So they were in the backyard, so I went on back there first, and it turns out he's got a, like, a 64 El Camino. Is that a three-legged dog? That's a three-legged dog with a black eye. He's got a, a 53 Buick. Have you had this one running and driving ever? Or just no, one? it doesn't have an engine. All right, a 52-ish Chevrolet with a big motor in it. Oh, somebody hot-rodded it. It's got some rust problems. What do you got over there, a Nova? Well, what about this little truck? This is a little short bed, huh? Yeah, it's an SS, a 90 model. Is this a real SS? Yeah. But he's also got a real 454 SS uh, Chevy truck from like the 1990. And uh, those are not only pretty cool, but they're pretty rare these days. 454 SS truck, pretty rad, cool. And uh, that's a good little truck to have. And then he's got a short bed Ford that I liked. What year is this? 61. Got a good looking patina to it. Uh, got a long bed Ford that I don't like because of long beds. I saw the sock. Is there an ambulance over here? Yeah. And then he had an ambulance, which was pretty cool. What are you doing with an ambulance? Oh, I used it for a work truck. Work truck? Yeah. An ambulance? Well, were you an ambulance dude or what? No, I'm a crane rescue man. I service and repair overhead cranes, do different types of technology changes, doing, uh, and, and just plain repairs. So this is pretty cool. You know, what a lot of people don't know about me is I was a police officer and a firefighter and a paramedic before I was old enough to drink. So the ambulance was pretty cool because um, it's actually the make and model that uh, I first drove when I was uh, a lot younger and I was working for the fire department. So being in the back of that was kind of uh, kind of surreal. This is pretty much exactly what I remember. Hit the buttons on, stab them in the arm, give them some oxygen, good to go. <laughs> I don't really need it, though. I have absolutely no use for it. Zero. I mean, what am I going to turn it into, a party wagon? Looks like it might be big enough to carry my beer around, though.